While the immigration reform debate is once again getting started as a result of yesterday's bipartisan meeting with Donald Trump. In the background, last night, a ruling on a DACA focused court case just threw a big wrench in the works. And as a result of this ruling, the most important part is that Trump's decision to end the program has been temporarily blocked, which is certainly gonna piss him off. Now let's talk about what actually happened. So you have William Alsup, US District Judge. Uh, said that lawyers in favor of DACA clearly demonstrated that the young immigrants in question in this were likely to suffer serious irreparable harm without court action. The judge also said the lawyers have a strong chance of succeeding at trial. And it's weird, so the judge says they're gonna suffer serious irreparable harm if they lose their legal protected status and are sent out of the country. But just yesterday, uh, new uh, Senate candidate Joe Arpaio says you just send them back for six months a year, they'll get a temporary job, who could be against that? (laughs) <laughs> but to be fair, he also said it sounds stupid. He seemed to acknowledge that. Um, but thankfully now, at the very least, it is being temporarily blocked. So just a little bit more from uh, the judge's uh, ruling. Uh, Docker covers a class of immigrants whose presence seemingly all agree pose the least if any threat and allows them to sign up for honest labor on the condition of continued good behavior. This has become an important program for DACA recipients and their families, for the employers who hire them, for our tax treasuries, and for our economy. And so that's, you have on the one hand, the blocking of the Trump decision, and then the reasonable response from our president. It just shows everybody how broken and unfair our court system capitalized is when the opposing side in a case such as DACA always runs to the Ninth Circuit and almost always wins before being reversed by higher courts. That's actually one of his least offensive tweets. Yeah, yeah, I get what he's saying there. I just love the capital C, capital S court system. No, there's another thing I like in there, but to be now to be fair to Donald Trump, um, a lot of times progressives do file the Ninth Circuit, which mm-hmm. is more progressive, and they do often win there, and do often get reversed at the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. So, and they have not adjudicated the whole case here yet. Yeah, he's just saying, whoa, 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 don't send them out of the country because that'll do irreparable damage. First, let's figure out if we're going to send them outside the country, then take action. Yeah, and that's hard to dispute. Um, but I do want to correct something that we did here. Um, can we, can I get a picture of the judge again, William Elsa? That's the first graphic you guys showed. Uh, because uh, we want to be as fair and honest as possible. Fake news, that's obviously Bill Press. <laughs> that's kind of look like Bill Press. <laughs> a little bit, a little uh, bit. All right, Bill Press in the TYT <laughs> network, check him out. Yeah. Okay. No, that's that's actually the judge. Yeah, that is actually him. <laughs> okay. um, but I did want to talk a, a little bit more. So th- this is going on, as I said, in the context of this meeting that just happened yesterday between Democrats, Republicans, and Donald Trump, which we uh, we talked about live on the show uh, yesterday. And I think it's very bizarre that Donald Trump is both giving himself, but also just getting a ton of credit for starting a bipartisan conversation about saving DACA. When we would not be having this conversation, we wouldn't need to have this conversation if he hadn't unilaterally decided to kill the program in the first place, then waited months until we are just about to run out of time, and then says maybe we can do it, but to do it, you'll also have to waste 18 billion dollars on a gigantic middle finger along our southern border to Mexico. So he deserves zero credit for how this is actually playing out. I think the media in this case is being way too eager to give uh, credit to the president, something I refuse to do. If you want to get the whole Young Turks show every single day, become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join. And once you do, you'll be saying, you know, I'm like a smart person. Or you might say, I think it's weird. Or you might say, oops. No, that won't be that one. It won't be that one. It'll be great, trust me. tytnetwork.com slash join.